Leo, welcome to your reading for this week starting the 31st of March. It's a general reading, so take everything that resonates. I'm using my Teacup Tarot, my Time to Shine Oracle and my Mini Messages Oracle. So, starting off, your overall energy, the Ace of Teacups. Now, this is lovely. The Aces are all a lovely new beginning, the start of something. And the Ace of Teacups is the start of happiness, joy, love, inspiration. Sometimes it can mean a new home. Sometimes it can mean a new friendship. But generally, this is lovely. Positive emotions, the start of something new. Your help or your hurdle, the three of wands is all about long term planning. Now on the card, the long term goal is the healthy forest. But in order to get there, she's got to plant the little seedlings. So this is looking at the bigger picture. This is a card definitely of success, but it reminds you to take those first action steps to get you there. So dream big, dream even bigger, but then do something to start things off. Now, these first little steps might be very small and really quite, you might think they're a little bit insignificant, but they're the most important ones because they're the ones that get you moving towards this new goal. What do you need to focus on? Clear communication in a word, in, in a two words. The two of teacups is all about discussions. It's all about conversations. And the important thing with this card reminds you to make sure that you clearly understand one another. So very much a card of listening as well as speaking. And it's here to remind you to make sure that there is a clear understanding going on. How can you help yourself? King of Teacups shows up. Now, the kings are authority figures in the deck and the King of Teacups absolutely personifies loving kindness, generosity, compassion, sharing. These lovely qualities of generosity and loving kindness, the King of Teacups is sharing those with other people. So this sort of energy would very much be found in, in a volunteering role, in a charitable organisation, in a non-profit company, something like that. So this could be you stepping up into this leadership role or into a role where you are helping other people to feel better. Pulling it all together, the Seven of Coins says, no need to worry, seeds well planted. Now we've got two cards here, side by side, and they're both planting seeds. This is taking those first little steps. So the Seven of Coins, if she would like to have some flowers or some vegetables, whatever these are, she's got to plant the seeds first. So this is like another little nudge saying, by all means, dream big, set your goal, but get busy with those new ideas. And the outcome's lovely, 21, the world. This is the completion of one cycle. And on the card, look, she's been right round the world and she's back where she started. Job well done, reason to celebrate, absolutely brilliant. But just as importantly, this card asks you where to next it's very much a card of advancement and success and you need to be getting busy taking those action steps. So just looking at the tarot cards on their own to start with, happiness, joy, lovely qualities coming in with the Ace of Teacups, very optimistic card. Get busy on those new ideas. Dream big, dream bigger then get busy and overlight those with this loving kindness and compassion. This new goal, this new direction could very well involve you in a position or in a situation where you are helping other people. Make sure that you communicate very, very clearly and are clearly understood. And now, 
Where to next? Where is this new venture taking you? So we'll have a look and find out from the Time to Shine deck. The 14 of Wisdom is the Temperance card and this is about bringing wonderful ideas together, mixing ideas together. It's about compromising, it's about discussions, it's about working out how things can work out for everyone and making sure there is balance and compromise in the equation. The 18 of Wisdom says it's time to let go of any negativity, anything that's been weighing you down and holding you back, such as fear, guilt, self-sabotage, self-criticism. Time to ditch those. Look, she's wanting to go higher and faster on this little flying carpet. So she needs to get rid of this heavy stuff. And that's just what she's doing. So you need to be mindful this week. What do you need to focus on? We've got another ace, the one of life, ace of coins, ace of pentacles. Time to open new open doors to new opportunities and enjoy abundance coming in. Here you are, look, opening this door. You're not standing behind it wondering what to do. And this sort of new opportunity in the life suit is very much connected to home life, finances, uh, career and job opportunity. So looking out for perhaps a new job or career, a pay rise, a promotion, it's fallen next to the work card here. And I was saying the words earlier on, um, advancing to a new level, advancement and success. So this could possibly be a pay rise or a promotion coming in. How can you help yourself? 12 of wisdom, looking at things from all perspectives. The 12 of wisdom is a card of perspectives. So, if we look at the card, look, she's completely upside down. Everything looks completely different from her perspective. So looking at things from all perspectives and looking at things in a positive new light will serve you well this week. The seven of action, pulling it all together, says you might have to be assertive. And that's absolutely fine as long as you're kind with it. So no thank you is a full sentence. This will work for me is a good one. This will not work as well for me, thank you, is another one. So standing up for yourself, making sure that your um, opinion and your words are heard and taken note of. So assertiveness and kindness just coming into the mix this week. And your final outcome card, the nine of action says, stay determined, stay positive, be persistent, keep going, be your own cheerleader, do not give up, be persistent, be determined and keep yourself moving forward. So we'll just have a card from the mini messages and from the intuition suit. This is psychic senses. Stay awake for signs. They are there to help and guide you. So just look out for those this week. They're just a little lovely uh, little message from the universe and from the angels saying, you're on track, keep going. So looking at your reading overall, we've got two aces, happiness, joy and optimism and a lovely new opportunity in the work arena or the home arena. Setting long-term goals, looking at the long-term, planting the seeds, taking those first action steps. This could involve a role where you are helping other people to feel better and it could well involve discussion and compromise. Those two cards are key in this reading. Talking things over, working things out, blending ideas together. Don't let any old negativity or anybody else's negativity hold you back. Look at things from every aspect. Take your time doing that. Just have a really good overview 
of this new situation. Be assertive when you need to be. Keep going. Because here you are dreaming big and starting off in a new direction towards this wonderful new goal. And here you are taking those first action steps now to get you moving forward. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you even more for liking and subscribing and supporting my channel. I truly appreciate that. So have a lovely week. Look after yourself. Look out for these lovely signs from the universe. Take care and I'll see you here soon.